If I'm out grocery shopping and I see someone wearing a KKK hood, I'm going to kick them in the head. And I have very long legs and I'm not going to miss. Hi everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my three favorite things, COVID-19, racism during COVID-19, and the KKK during COVID-19. Wow, turns out those are actually probably my three least favorite things, but I saw those pictures of that unsalted, rotten cottage cheese garbage pail of a person wearing that KKK hood to a grocery store this past weekend, and I just have to say how I feel. <sighs> Before we go down this wormhole, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've been talking a lot about kind of like issues, but I also make stuff about fashion and beauty if you want to check out some of that stuff. Okay, let's talk about the white supremacy trash that happened this weekend. On Saturday, May 3rd in Santee, California, a man wore a KKK hood as his required facial covering while shopping at a Vons grocery store. I just like what i i don't i i barely know where to start with this what how can that happen the grocery store employees repeatedly asked the man to take the hood off or leave but he wasn't finally forced to make that choice until he was checking out at which point he did finally take the hood off and purchase his groceries so the mayor of santee made a statement many thanks to all who stepped forward to curtail this sad reminder of intolerance Santee, its leaders, and I will not tolerate such behavior. More officials said things like, this blatant racism has no place in Santee or San Diego. It is not what we stand for and it can't be tolerated. Okay, okay, let's break this down. A man walks into a grocery store wearing a KKK hood. That sounds like the setup of a terrible joke, but it's real life. This man wearing a KKK hood is allowed to enter the grocery store. He is allowed to shop and peruse and purchase things and leave, all while wearing a hood until almost the very end. Even though people are telling him to take it off, he's still able to do his whole grocery routine wearing the hood. Only at the checkout line is he finally forced to take it off. For all the statements officials made about this not being tolerated, it sounds like it was tolerated. Like how was this guy even able to walk into the store? Why weren't the police called? Why wasn't he arrested for terrorism? Because that's what the KKK is, a terrorist organization. I have a few ideas as to why. First, Santee has a history of racism. It's a small town outside of San Diego that's like 85% white. From attacks on black men in the 90s, to growing instances of racism in schools, to a growing presence of the KKK in the town, Santee has been nicknamed Clan T or Santucky. Ugh. It's a white suburbia filled with skinhead racist idiots and white trash, or at least that's what I can gather from the internet and Urban Dictionary when you look up Santee. I only live a few hours away from Santee, but it sounds like my personal hell. I don't know about you, but it's been especially hard for me to see how all of the coronavirus conditions are especially hard on minorities and people of color. Like this white supremacist crap in Santee is just the tip of the unfair racially divided coronavirus iceberg, which I'm gonna talk about now because I have to. We already know that the American health system is racist. Black people and especially black women are more likely to be denied treatment or have symptoms not be believed. And now this kind of systemic racism within the healthcare system is even more deadly because of coronavirus. If you look at this little chart, it shows that black people are only 6% of the total population, but are accounting for 10% of total deaths. That is so messed up. I can't even fully articulate how messed up that is, probably because I'm not like educated enough to put that into words, but it's messed up. So we're already dying at a higher rate than other people. And now we have to put up with these racist statements like this KKK crap from the weekend. Plus like, look at this video of two people getting kicked out of a Walmart just because they were wearing masks that we are supposed to wear. I know it was before that was officially announced, but what? And don't even get me started on how hard it has been for essential workers. Oh look, I got myself started. In New York, a festering hub of COVID-19, most of the essential workers are black people, bus drivers, MTA operators, postal service workers, these people should have like the best access to healthcare right now, but systemically, they are the most likely to get turned away. I just keep thinking about any black people that may have been working at that bonds and Santee, like you're already putting yourself at risk. You're already 
out and being exposed because you work in a grocery and then you see this trash walk in just a slap in your face of putting yourself in danger so people can shop so that man can shop he it's unbelievable in one of the articles i read about it another shopper said that they saw a man in a wheelchair see the guy in the hood salute him and laugh so the guy in the hood got what he wanted he got respect and applause and recognition from another white person. He got the affirmation he wanted from wearing that, which is a whole other issue about how white people should be able to call this shit out. But since this one person was like, that's funny, that guy won in this scenario to me, he was not punished. He was able to do all his shopping and even get a, you know, a cool, that's cool that you did that from another white person. This guy is from the same breed of person that is protesting the shutdowns. Like, they're all super far right, super, super scary alt-right people. They're the same people that are doing the protests and demanding that they should be able to go back out into the world. If I see another photo of some Karen protesting about how she needs another Karen haircut while people are putting their lives on the line so that she doesn't have to go outside, I'm gonna lose it. So I'm kind of rambling now because I just honestly am furious and can't even believe that these things can happen in 2020 without any arrests being made. So I'm going to try to wrap this up. So what happens now? Well, apparently the Santee Sheriff launched a criminal probe into the man, sorry, stale piece of white bread who wore the KKK hood into the store. I'm not really sure what a criminal probe means per se, but they said they will pursue any appropriate criminal charges. But like I said, that guy should not have been able to walk away from that store after wearing that hood because it is an act of terrorism. And now there's the question of what can be done about the racial divide in healthcare during coronavirus. Unfortunately, I don't really know. Keep social distancing, keep washing your hands. If you're able, stay home, wear a mask, Stay away from these idiots who are going to these protests. They're going to get us all killed. And if you have any extra money, maybe you donate it to a Black-owned business or try to buy something from a Black-owned business and just support businesses run by minorities that are probably suffering right now. Basically do all the things that we're supposed to do, but some white people think they're better than and don't care if you die because they want to go to the mall. These people are mad that the government is taking away their rights and telling them what to do, but like, isn't that what the government is for? to tell us what to do. Not that our government should be listened to at all because we're a laughing stock of the entire world. Maybe we're just doomed, I don't know. And if you're a minority person of color and you think you have symptoms of coronavirus, insist on getting tested, make them test you. I know some places have a shortage of tests, but if you're an essential worker, especially, you deserve to get tested. I would honestly really love to talk about this more in the comments, like, are you an essential worker? What has that been like? Have you experienced any spikes in racism within healthcare or otherwise during this time? Like, I just want to hear how other people are doing because I've really been, you know, stuck in my room because that's what I'm supposed to do. That's pretty much it for me today. I cannot believe this happened. I am furious. Wow, I hope that guy gets arrested for something. And if I'm out grocery shopping and I see someone wearing a KKK hood, I'm going to kick them in the head. Let me repeat that. If I'm out grocery shopping and I see someone wearing a KKK hood, I'm going to kick them in the head. And I have very long legs and I'm not going to miss. Stay safe, everyone.